fuck you, we're going to say fuck on television, we're going to look completely and utterly different to anybody else that's around, and that includes hippies. When the Sex Pistols came along, I thought, you know, it's just uh, the Rolling Stones with a Cockney accent. But each time a collaborator is exposed, a hundred punks spring up to take his place. To me, it felt as though I put my finger in an electric socket and, you know, I just go, yeah. Oh, hey. It wasn't a fly-by-night thing and it wasn't to do with safety pins or anything else. It went far deeper than that. We had fuck all. And suddenly, everybody was making this fuss about us having nothing. Why are you living in a car? I didn't know there was a punk movement. Well, I mean, um, I don't know what it is. I think Malcolm's contribution was massive in that they packaged the whole cultural event. Fashion mongers were encouraged to copy, dilute and sell the utility uniforms of punk. I mean, these days you can walk down the street and you've got fuck, shit, whatever all over your t-shirt. Back in those days, if you did that, it was like... Come round to the back of the garment and here we have some pictures. If you're asking me, is punk going to come back? It's never gone away. Might have slept for a while. What, are you coming here for a bit of a stir? No, buy some clothes. 